Hey guys, welcome to the Lunchtime Review channel. Uh, this video is going to be a wrap up of my likes and dislikes for the year um, on Tammy's channel, uh, on Tammy Dunn on YouTube. Um, we do a year, a monthly wrap up of all the foods we liked and disliked and we include the Lunchtime Review and the, the um, restaurant reviews I do. We include those all in those wrap up videos on her channel. Then um, at the end of the year, in December, we wrap up all the likes and dislikes on her channel. Then I also do a likes and dislike on this channel for all the foods I've tried that I like and dislike. Um, some months, I have something for every month except one, and I don't have very many hates. So I'm just going to go through months each month, and then um, I'll talk about the likes and dislikes for that month instead of doing all the hates or whatever. So for... Um, for January, this one was, like I said, these are pretty much all favorites. This was the um, the Good Life. This is the, um, I'm trying to think of her name, Pay LaBelle, uh, Beef Brisket Stew. It was really good, it had a good flavor to it. I, I just liked it, I gave it um, a five out of five. Um, excellent meal, good flavor, good meaty stew. So if you like a good hearty, like a beef stew, really, really good. For February, I did have um, a hate. I did have a hate for February. It was these Wicked Foods um, Punchin' Potatoes and Beans Chili Mac. Most of the Wicked Foods I did not like. It didn't cook well. It's like, um, they're kind of like pot noodles, but um, they're, they just don't cook as well. They're, they're very uh, underdone. They're kind of hard or chewy. Uh, I just didn't like any of them. I gave this particular one a 2.5 <laughs> and I said um, it was just awful just awful flavor did not like it um, yeah don't get those wicked foods I didn't like I said I didn't like any of the the pot meals um, at all they've got other meals that, that may be better but the, these weren't were that great my favorite though for February was this this one is the uh, Kroger brand Bavarian style soft pretzel sticks pub style um, these are um, just pretzel sticks basically and these were I gave them a five yeah I gave them a five uh, five out of five for these so if you like a good pretzel I love a good pretzel especially when you can microwave a pretzel and then um, put some salt on them can't beat them and then for um, I didn't have one for I got one for March March is these DiGiorno stuffed pizza bites and let's see, oh, did I write a note on them? Um, no, I didn't, I didn't write a note on them. This one is though, um, yeah. This one is the pepperoni. Uh, think about Tostitos pizza bites, these are better. They're, they're not hard on the outside, they're, they're dry like those are. Uh, these are really soft, like actual pizza crust. Um, really good flavors, the pepperoni really comes through and the sauce was good, and the bread, the texture was what won me over because they're really good. Even in the microwave, they were really good. So you can also do them in the oven as well, so those might even be better. Um, so that was for March. I don't think I had one for April. That was the month I didn't have one, but I did have one for May. I actually had two for May because uh, I did them at the same time. These are the Jack Links Uncured Hard Salami and Colby Jack, and this is the um, Uncured Hard Salami and Pepper Jack. And they were a little like, um, you get the cheese and the sausages um, together. And I gave these both, um, I don't have my number on here. Anyway, I gave them a four and a half or a five. I wouldn't have kept them. Um, they are, yeah, just peppers, um, just salamis and cheese. And you just eat them like a little snack. That's why I ate both of these at the same time. Really, really good. They still have these in the store. So if you want to try them, they're really good snack items. Um, so that was for... Um, May. For June, I had the Frontera a Carne Asada Burrito Bowl. Um, very good flavors. I gave this one a 4.5. Uh, the flavors of this one were really good. The textures were good. Had a lot of seasoning, a lot of uh, really rich flavors in there. Um, I don't tend to pick things that just kind of have a flat flavor, uh, but if they have some depth to the flavor, I will pick them as a favorite. This was a really good uh, meal. Most of the Frontera brand are pretty good, honestly. Um, for July, I have the Good and Gather, which is a Target brand, um, white cheddar macaroni and cheese with whole milk and butter. I gave this one a um, a four a four out of uh, no 4.5. And like I said, it's a Target brand. 
Had a really good mac and cheese. It had a really good texture to it. It was really creamy macaroni and cheese. And the flavors of the cheese were really good too. So it wasn't this uh, like an artificial flavor. It actually tasted like you made fresh macaroni and cheese on the stove. So really, really good meal. Um, the August favorite was the Boston Market. This one is the uh, Vermont White Cheddar Mac and Cheese. And I gave it a 4.5 out of 5. And again, really good flavor. This one has bacon in it though. Uh, let's see. Yeah, bacon bits and uh, cheese. So uh, the bacon really had, came through as a smoky bacon flavor. Uh, had a good texture to it. Again, really rich, creamy uh, macaroni and cheese that had a really good texture to it as well. So another favorite. Uh, for, let's see, this is for September. I actually bought these at the, um, was it Dollar General? Yeah, Dollar General. Yeah, and I gave them a 4.5. These are the Rayburn's um, Maple Biscuit Egg and Cheddar Sandwiches. Really good sandwiches. Uh, Rayburn's, most Rayburn sandwiches I've had, I've had a bunch of different breakfast sandwiches, regular lunch sandwiches. Uh, most of the Rayburn stuff's pretty good. So if you see a Rayburn's brand, it's pretty safe to buy, honestly. Um, and for the month of October, I actually had a hate and a, and a love. Um, this one is... And I hate to say it because I really like this brand, but I gave this one a, um, I didn't write the number down. It was, it was pretty bad. Uh, this one is the Marie Callender's cornbread and it was just so bad. It, it was like, when I ate it, it literally like burned my throat. It was so, uh, so bad. It had such a strong uh, artificial flavor to it. Um, yeah, just really, really bad. I've only seen these. I think we bought them at Walmart. Yeah, I've only seen these at Walmart and they're like a, a mug cake kind of thing. I wouldn't get them. I, I'd make uh, this get anything else from Marie Callender's. These are these are not good. So this was a hate, but I, I liked my favorite was this one. I gave a five out of five for October. Uh, this one is the Scream of Sicilian. I'm single. Breakfast for one. Country breakfast um, sausage and gravy. And what was cool about this was you get it like a pizza crust, like a biscuit bottom. But then you have like sausage and gravy, like a literally gravy um, on top. Um, instead of a sauce, it has a gravy. And I didn't expect to like it. I thought it would be kind of just like whatever. But it was really, really good. And I liked the gravy on the top too. The gravy had a really good like sawmill peppered gravy flavor. It really had that really good flavor to it. So while it doesn't sound like it would work, it was really, really good. And it was a microwave pizza, so you put it on one of those little crisping trays and you lay it in the, on there and microwave it, and it was, it's really easy to make. Um, so for um, November, November I have these El Monterey, these are the nacho cheese taquitos. Um, yeah, I didn't write anything extra. Oh, I put, I put extra cheesy. Um, we bought these at Meyer, but I'm sure they sell them other places too. Really good texture, uh, had a really good cheese flavor. Most things I'll say, they have cheese on them, that I really don't taste the cheese much. It's really just the cheese adds a little texture and that's about it. These, you really did taste the cheese. The cheese was a really good, strong flavor. So if you can find these and you uh, want to throw them in the oven and make them for a bunch of people or a couple of people, um, you could, there's 20 in a box, so you could split them between two people really easily. Um, but yeah, if you want to throw them in the microwave too, they're also good in the microwave. So for December, I did have a hate um, that I absolutely like despised. It, I gave it a 1.5, probably should have given it a one. I mean, you could eat it if you had to, but you probably wouldn't want to. The I didn't like any of these, just to let you know. This is the Bitsy's uh, Mac and Cheese. This is the white cheddar one. And uh, let's see, where did we buy these at? We bought them at Walmart. And this one was had a really bitter, like strong acidic flavor to it, like a, almost like vinegar, and actually burned your throat when you ate it, or it didn't eat. Um, I didn't like any of these brand. Uh, there was three different flavors and I didn't care for any of them. I didn't literally would not eat any of them. I would never buy this brand again. Um, I, if they make other things, they may be better, but that particular item was really, really bad. And my favorite for December, I gave it a 4.5 was the Marie Counters. I had a couple of Marie Counter things in here. This one is the spaghetti and meatballs bowl. I had hate for Marie Counters too though. Um, the spaghetti and meatball bowl, it had a very rich, savory flavor. The sauce wasn't super sweet. It was a good, um, had a lot of good seasonings in it. The meatballs had a little spice to it. The spaghetti was cooked perfect. There was nothing wrong with this. This tasted like something you would make at home. Um, this was just an excellent, excellent meal. So, um, you know, I'm just looking over everything here. 
And honestly, I think this, um, this may be my favorite out of the bunch. Although I really did like the, um, the screamish to see and the, the biscuits and gravy. Um, and then I like the Boston market macaroni and cheese, but out of the bunch, I think I'm going to actually pick my December favorite as my favorite for the year. Um, all of the stuff I had as favorites was really good, but this is something I would eat like every week. I would buy this. Uh, this is not one I would get sick of very quickly. The, the screws see them. It's really good, but I think I would get tired of eating that all the time. Whereas this, you just, it's in a bowl, you put it in the microwave, you cook, you heat it up. You don't have to deal with a crisping tray or anything like that. So it's just easier and the flavors are more like developed. So this is my favorite for the year. Um, the hates, I wouldn't pick any of them. So they're all bad. Uh, but yeah, I would pick this one out of all the ones I had this year. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching the channel. I really appreciate all of you all that, that support me and watch every day. Um, if you join me for lunch every day watching me while you're eating that's awesome i think that's really cool um continue i will continue to keep doing them as long as they uh, i can find things to keep trying i'll keep doing them and as long as uh, fast food restaurants keep coming out with stuff on thursdays then i'll keep on trying those things too so i hope you enjoy this video i'll catch you next time